Following on from our previous videos, today we are continuing the journey into the genesis of the neutral baits range of products, more importantly the base mixes and the baits that have come off the back of them. Today we are looking at probably, if not the biggest, yeah, no, I go with the biggest carp catching bait of all time, and that is Trigger. <laughs> How did Trigger start about? Well, it actually started out where at the back end of 99 into the year 2000, a company approached Nutribates, a company that had been involved in the animal feed industry for years and had also been involved with Nutribates on other projects. And they had come up with a product that they felt would fit well within our ethos of carp baits. And that was a feed trigger that they'd been using for years in the animal feed industry to great effect and had started to cross over into the aquaculture industry. As is typical with any of these wonder products, you know, it was cautiously looked at by the team at Nutribates and very quickly it was recognized that this was something special. After much intense negotiations and a lot of on the side field testing, they pinned down an exclusivity with this company so that no other bait company in the world could actually use it within their baits. And Trigger was born. So they had this stimulant that they knew would really, really agitate the carp's senses to feed, but they needed something to carry it. And so from the ground up, they built Trigger. So Trigger was not the usual way of being designed, which was usually a base mix followed by additives. This was an additive followed by a base mix. They wanted to do something really, really different from the usual ho-hum fish mills that had seen the market. And they also wanted to take it off in a slightly different tangent, something that would be fitting for this new powder and liquid that were gonna revolutionize the bait industry. So the first port calls, they wanted it to be a fish meal in some guys, but what they wanted to use was for the first time in fishing, pre-digested oceanic proteins. These Pre-digested oceanic proteins have been broken down to a point where they're much more soluble. They leak off quicker their funkiness, if that's the way to put it. So that was gonna be the, the nucleus of Trigger as a base mix. They wanted to add in some CLO sluice to bring in that vitamin mineral content. They wanted to put in some very different milk proteins as well. And this was the foundation of Trigger and what a foundation it was. And to be honest with you, it's never been bettered. So Trigger itself comes in three guises. We've got Trigger on its own. We have Trigger, Pineapple, and then Butyric Acid. And we also have Trigger Ice. Now I've left Trigger Ice out of this particular one because Trigger Ice needs to have a video all about itself on its own. So in the range, we have the base mix. Comes in a number of different sizes. So you've got your, you know, your one and a half kilo bag, 10 kilo sack, 20 kilo sack. So if you're using a lot of bait, you can buy it in bulk. And that obviously is cheaper if you do that. We also have our boilies ready rolled. We have also the freezer range of Trigger. And we have the auxiliary items. So we have liquid Trigger food. We also have the booster. So it's got all the attractiveness of the Trigger flavors, but it's in the booster, which is full of natural sugars and amino acids, and it's gonna pump out attraction. So that's brilliant if you're using carpet feed, particles, or even just dowsing over your boilies before you chuck them out. It's gonna help you, especially if you wanna nick a quick bite. Pop-ups, wafters, sprays, glugs, dips, it's all there. The whole range is there. If you've never used Trigger before, I would always recommend start off with Trigger on its own. It's a very mellow, meaty flavor that doesn't blow. It doesn't sort of make the fish wary or spooky or anything like that. It's just a, a carp catcher. Trigger with the embutyric and the pineapple flavor added. That was brought about because they wanted to keep the exact same base mix, uh, which it is and they wanted to have a flavor combination for guys who just like flavors, like they like to open a bag and smell a smell and go, oh yeah, that's gonna catch me a carp. It was a confidence thing. Now, the embutyric acid that goes into this is at a low level, but we already know it's a major carp stimulant. They love it, so straight away we're on a win-win with this one. And the pineapple with the trigger and the embutyric, it just marries up really, really well, softens it all, and gives it a beautiful edge. I've caught equally as well on the embutyric and the pineapple, 
trigger as the basic trigger on its own. What floats your boat? What's your preference as to which one you'll go for? Here's a little tip I would give as well. If you're going abroad to fish, especially on the continent where you're fishing one of the commercial venues that sees an awful lot of anglers going to it, a lot of the continental anglers, they like over flavored baits. So everything is elevated in it. Smellier the better. And a lot of the fish in those lakes tend to shy off of beds of very pungent bait. And that's why when we arrive at lakes, washing baits out is such a great idea to kind of put the fish immediately off their guard. The minute I arrive, I fill up a huge bucket of lake water, fill it with boilies and let it soak for 24, 48 hours. You will catch more fish over the week with that than a highly flavored bait because the fish will be on it quicker. They are less put off by it. They're less afraid and it just seems to have a better track record of catching fish, especially as the week goes by. So, trigger, a legendary bait, one that has caught so many big fish, it's ridiculous, and one that will carry on catching so many big fish. So if you wanna hedge your bets and give yourself an edge, check out Trigger, because there's not really a bait on the market that's quite like it. This is Jerry, Two Minute Tuesday.